Hi guys, welcome to something interesting. Uh, this time around, I decided that uh, we should discuss something about protests. Yes, um, um, everybody around the world seems to be protesting. Um, you've got campaigns like the Occupy Wall Street and then we recently saw what all happened in the Middle East, in Egypt, in Libya, in Yemen. And uh, generally, I believe that in the past few years, we've seen people voicing their concerns and uh, some of them have been rather interesting. So I thought I'd pick up around five, six interesting ways of how people have protested against various things that have bothered them. And one of the most recent ones has been in India. I'm sure some of them, some of you may have uh, read about it in the newspapers. And this is against corrupt bureaucrats who have been wanting bribes from poor farmers. And um, what the farmers did, they were so devastated by the bribes that the bureaucrats in India uh, had been demanding them that they unleashed poisonous, or maybe not poisonous, snakes at them. Yes, at a very, very busy tax office, these farmers went and dumped three sacks of snakes. Yes, it had everybody screaming and going ballistic. They were getting on top of tables and the snakes were climbing up and it was the most chaotic scene. And these two farmers uh, were fed up, as I said, by the bribery demands. And there were up to 40 snakes of different sizes and species. And they say that there were at least four deadly cobras. Um, and uh, that really got the clerks and the, um, and the officers um, climbing and shouting and screaming and running for their lives. And uh, once they got up on tables and chairs, the snakes also got on top of tables and chairs. And uh, the farmers um, um, have, have basically kind of protested uh, that if you're going to be asking us for bribe, this is what you're going to be getting in return. So uh, I have to admit that um, it's a very innovative way of uh, um, you know, protesting. Um, there's another one in Brussels. And again, we've got people um, protesting for the price of milk. Um, the, uh, the price of milk uh, was, um, had gone up and uh, they wanted to kind of, you know, um, establish how they felt about it. So they actually lined cows um, um, out on the road and squirted milk on the riot police and um, straight from the others so that's um, um, you know and these are the EU farmers so again farmers throwing snakes in India and over here squirting milk um, at the policemen um, as um, a protest for rising um, uh, milk prices and uh, at the same time we have another one in which there is again um, a lot of rage and a lot of uh, uh, mixed feelings with this protest which happened uh, by throwing a shoe at uh, the US President George W. Bush and it was during a press conference and this was a journalist, an Iraqi journalist in Baghdad who um, became very very upset and he got up and he threw one shoe and then he threw the other shoe and of course I'm sure you would all remember these shots on CNN where Bush was going like that um, but nonetheless he threw a shoe at um, uh, President Bush and uh, initially he was sentenced for three years in jail but then it was reduced to approximately I believe nine months or so um, and uh, what he said, um, of course, um, since it wasn't in English, uh, it was, this is a farewell kiss from the Iraqi people, you dog. And uh, then he threw, that, was, that is when he threw the first shoe. And then he said, this is for the widows and orphans and all those killed in Iraq. And uh, he became a hero back home. So that's another one. Um, we have PETA, PETA which uh, rallies for animal rights. What they decided to do was um, get naked women to
to pose in cages and basically show this judicious application of female nudity and uh, they wanted to show how we and they threw fake blood at them and it was just to show how we have animals in cages bullfighting um, they also wanted to show um, how uh, they were rallying against whaling so that's what Peter did they actually put humans uh, the way we treat animals and they put women so that just you know would probably get more attention and uh, they were stark naked but they were kind of painted um, and then um, you know thank, thank, thankfully um, and uh, so that is uh, a very interesting way of PETA uh, making themselves um, um, known uh, in, in terms of what they wanted um, uh, to lobby for. Uh, this one is also kind of interesting but uh, it's again got to do with getting naked um, and this is uh, posing for potholes and again middle-aged naked men uh, which I don't know if it's one of the best scenes to see. Uh, I don't think so. Um, and this is in uh, Saskatchewan in Canada. And uh, there were a lot of pot potholes on one of their local roads. And what they decided was to stand there, struck naked, um, with just, um, you know, like a, a um, you know, covering their, their let's say, delicate parts with either hubcaps, hubcaps or a, a, a camera so um, there wasn't really much uh, covering them and uh, that is how they kind of uh, registered their protest for potholes. Um, then we have uh, this last one which is called the Pink Chaddi Campaign. Yes, uh, Chaddi as in panties. And this was again in India and this was against um, a religious group of um, you know orthodox um, Hindu group um, called the Shri Ram Sena and uh, they had said that on Valentine's Day if we see couples together we're going to take them to the nearest temple and get them married off and uh, um, again there was you know sure enough Valentine's came um, not that anybody was dragged into a temple uh, but there was violence against uh, women and they went into bars and restaurants and uh, manhandled women and in a response what these women did that they actually mailed um, 500 pink uh, chaddis or panties uh, to the head of this uh, organization and uh, that's how they told them that they meant business and you know this was no good so you know um, I picked up a few interesting ways of protesting um, I do recall another one but I don't have an image to support it um, I couldn't find it on the internet but I believe this was again in India a few years ago when they were uh, protesting against the rising food prices and they said vegetables and fruits have become so expensive that you could actually wear them as jewelry and they actually had like bananas and oranges and apples you know as um, necklaces and earrings and as like a tiara um, so I thought that was also a very interesting and a very efficient and effective way um, of uh, registering uh, your protest um, and then of course we have the regular way that I believe uh, most of us are kind of accustomed which is um, setting things on fire and uh, you know getting all violent uh, we saw the London riots uh, we see riots uh, in our part of the world so that's one of the regular ways that we all kind of come across but these are definitely some very interesting ways of um, establishing um, and uh, letting people know how how you feel about about something so at times you can actually be creative even with uh, your protests so that's a little something interesting for this time around and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.